Hi, this is your Sapnil Bharatiya and welcome to your Let's Talk. And today we have with us Dom Wild, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Brantis. Dom, it's great to have you on the show. Great, thank you. It's good to be here. What role do you see KubeCon Cloud Native Con plays, uh, you know, for this whole ecosystem around Kubernetes? Yeah, obviously it's uh, you know one of the most important uh, you know events of uh, of the year and uh, bringing together the community in person. I mean, I know we're all used to working from home now and working remotely, but you know, as uh, as humans, there's nothing better than uh, you know getting together in uh, in a in a common physical space and having those always conversations and you know, inspiring each other. So um, we're really looking forward to, uh, you know, continuing to part- participate with the community and you know, meet as many people as we can, um, you know, to find out about all the different projects going on that it, uh, and the innovation that's going on. What kind of presence Mirantis will have at this event this year? Um, so we have uh, we have a booth. Uh, we're at booth R22, if anybody wants to come by and see us. Um, and we'll... Uh, doing some uh, some live demos of, uh, of some of our new products and some of the projects that uh, we work on. We're releasing our latest version of our Mirantis Kubernetes engine, version 4, uh, which uh, fundamentally brings composability and, uh, and declarative capabilities uh, to a fully open source uh, distribution. And... Uh, so that's uh, one of the main things, but we'll also have um, demos of our Lens IDE product, uh, K0S distribution, uh, Cosmotron for uh, extending the capabilities of cluster API. So a lot of exciting things. We'll be, uh, we'll be showing a lot of stuff. And of course, we participate in more than 40 different projects as well. So we'll have uh, a lot of our engineers attending, um, you know, roaming the, uh, roaming the floors, attending Birds of a feather session and uh, and communing with uh, with other uh, like-minded engineers. Of course, you know whatever f- you folks are going to announce at the event, we will talk about that when we are at the event. But just give us a hint, give us a teaser. What kind of uh, announcement or things we can expect from Mirantis at the event? We're coming out with a, a, a new version of uh, our Mirantis Kubernetes engine. Um, so that's one of the announcements, and then. We're also um, doing a lot of work in the hybrid multi-cloud and particularly multi-cluster space. Um, We're seeing a lot of uh, need, particularly in very large organizations who are struggling with how to move to the the sort of hybrid multi-cloud space, struggling with a lot of complexity there, a lot of, you know, the increasing costs and stuff, um, and trying to figure out, well, you know, how do they leverage uh, the incredible innovation that's going on in the open source community, and so you know we're actually getting uh, you know project off the ground. We're also um, obviously you know working on several projects, uh, including Cluster API, that help in this respect. So there's a lot of uh, news around all of those items that uh, that we'll be talking about. If I'm not wrong, you know, uh, of course from the early days, Mirantes, you folks were heavily involved with open source, open stack, but things slowed down. Now you folks are, you know, going back, you know, with full force there. Uh, Randy Bass is also, uh, his joined, you know, to kind of, you know, lead you know, the whole open source uh, again at Mirantis. Talk a bit about what we can expect uh, from the open source lens, not Mirantis lens, but open source lens at yeah. the event. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yes, uh, Randy Bias is leading our open source program office, um, and uh, he's going to be at the show, um, reconnecting with uh, a lot of people in the community and talking to them about an exciting new project that we've got off the ground uh, related to uh, hybrid multi-cloud. And uh, so uh, we're, we're doing a lot of activity with, with Randy um, but we're really, the, you know, I guess the news is that, you know, we've never we've never left the, the you know, the cloud late native and, uh, and open source community, but we're really kind of reinvigorating our efforts. We're doubling down. We're coming back. We're 100 percent committed as a company to open source um, and uh, and really looking forward to increasing our participation with the with the uh, CNCF community and, uh, and and doubling down on all of our open source efforts. We're also doing some cool giveaways on our booth. Uh, we've got some really cool T-shirts. We've obviously been known for a while for uh, for our T-shirts and things. So we've got some uh, cool new designs that we'll be giving away. 
um, plus the opportunity to uh, to win some other goodies as well. And then we're also uh, co-hosting a party uh, one evening with uh, our partner Replicated. So, um, you know, if you're looking for, uh, for some drinks and bites, uh, please come join us. We have been talking about this events uh, rule for the ecosystem. Now let's just look at, you know, from Mirantis' point of view, uh, what is your expectation? What kind of folks are you looking forward to meeting? What kind of discussions you are looking forward to? And if you can also talk about, because every KubeCon, they have a specific theme also for the couple of last, I think a lot of focus was in Gen AI. So talk a bit about what are you expecting? Well, obviously, you know, AI and, and stuff is the is the big topic of the of uh, the decade, probably. Um, we're absolutely um, we're really interested in what uh, what uh, projects are uh, different projects are doing, different uh, companies and organizations and individuals are doing around AI, but not just in terms of actually sort of automating infrastructure and using um, using AI uh, as a as a tool within the infrastructure space. But also, what are people doing in terms of workloads? You know, how fast are they moving workloads? Um, what uh, what are the you know the stresses and strains that that's causing? Um, so we're really looking to uh, to to meet and talk with a bunch of people. You know, come with an open mind, learn from the community about you know both what are the the challenges that that people are, are seeing. Where could we help? Where could we participate? Um, and where can we bring some some value and innovation to bear as well? So you know, again, we're we're really doubling down again on our on our open source DNA. Um, we love being part of the open source community. Um, it is uh, really the you know the only way to uh, to innovate. And uh, and so yeah, we're we're just looking to meet as many people as possible, have some really interesting conversations, and you know, hopefully people find what we're doing quite interesting as well. And see if there's opportunities to, you know, partner up and contribute to, to, uh, to more projects. Dom, thank you so much for joining me today. And you know, we are all excited about KubeCon, and I look forward to meeting you folks there at the show. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.